Hello everyone, thank you for watching my YouTube video again. Um, so after the first video about uh, biological psychology, so perhaps um, you, you, uh, you understand the basic structure of the neurons. But you probably have a question like uh, what actually triggers um, the, the neurons for releasing neurotransmitter for another real neuron to receive neurotransmitter. What actually triggers um, the neurons to, to, to react or to move? Okay, so from, that's why for this video I'm going to tell you um, it's an example what happened or what actually triggered the new ones for um, uh, transmitting the electrical um, impulses and then to make the new ones extra term and to release um, the new transmitter uh, for example like serotonin or dopamine all right um so if you're not yet subscribe my channel please do so please also like and share my video and uh, my channel to your friends for, for those who uh, really want to study or understand more about psychology all right um from this picture you already see two things one and two one you see resting potential Number two, you see action potential. Um, so basically for human being, um, neurological system, so we only have two ways to go or two conditions. Uh, see, if not resting, we are acting. Okay, so that's why we have resting potential and um, action potential. All right, so for resting potential basically means, um, so you, your neurons are is more, relatively more relaxed or not feeling triggered by anything. Okay, so for example, now you are resting um, on the sofa or you're resting uh, in the armchair. So this is like resting potential. At the moment of resting potential basically means your neurons are more resting. Okay, so that's why you see the, the content here. At rest, there are more negative ions inside the neurons compared with the outside. When the point of supramental neural membrane is adequately stimulated by incoming message, the membrane opens the pond and possibly charged iron flow in. Okay, so let's take a look at this picture. Okay, so you see cell you see cell body here, right? Cell body. And it is an exon. Right? So it's an exon. Okay, so you still remember the structure of new ones I, I told last video. Okay, so when we are our, our new one are resting, so we have more negative ion, negative charged ion inside. Okay, and then we have a lot of positive charged ion outside. Okay, so you can think of um the the positive ion um uh, probably like sodium. Okay, so the sodium. So um, you can imagine um sodium ions. Um, um, positive charge ion um, are all outside the exon. Okay, so that's why we call this condition uh, called polarization. Polarization means we have more negative ions inside and more positive ions outside though. So that separate in like two groups of people. You can imagine like um, a, a classroom, this classroom with a lot of um, um, girls Okay, another classroom with a lot of boys, so it is separate, polarized, uh, without mixing um, different gender of student in a specific classroom, exactly like this. Or you can say all um, girls inside a classroom, and then a lot of boys get rejected um, by coming in, so that's why a lot of boys, they are uh, waiting outside the classroom. This is like a condition like this. So that's why you see very, very balanced, okay, um, and then not very um, active, Okay, so there's a condition. Okay, um, but what happened? What happened, for example, uh, once the neurons get triggered by whatever reason, for example, because of stress, um, because of some uh, incoming message, uh, like a visual, uh, very, very strong light, uh, very loud noise, or some uh, the person perceives something as frightening. Okay, so when this point of this thing happened, okay, so um, the voltage get changed. Okay, so the channel, um, somewhere here, um, uh, the membranes of the exon will probably get open. Okay, so then you will see what happened. You will see a lot of positive charge ion rushing in. So which is sodium. Okay, the sodium, the, this electrical ion rushing in. Then there's some negative charge ion going out. Okay, so that is a condition um, more or less like um, the different types of neurons. A positive negative rushing in and out and mixing the condition. Okay, so that's what we call this condition um, called depolarization. Depolarization means no longer inside negative to outside positive. Okay, so that's why for inside you see positive and negative. 
and it makes the voltage a little, a little bit positive because a lot of uh, positive um, charge ion rushing in from the from outside. Okay, so this is like um, make the voltage upward, and then this call um, depolarization, and it is a moment trigger the the new one passing the electrical impulses, and then will probably trigger the exon terminal for using certain types of new transmitter for um, some uh, brain reaction. Okay. Uh, and this is, you see, number two, extra potential. This process will repeat the, along the length of membranes, okay, so this is like the, along the, the membrane, okay, the prolonged area. So create a neural impulse that travel down the axon and then causing the new ones to fire. Causing the new ones to fire means releasing new transmitter um, to, to another new one for receiving, okay, so then you can imagine once another new one, the dendrite of another new one, receive the information, the neurotransmitter, and that will trigger another neurons um, um, causing the action potential to happen. Okay, um, the gauge of um, the sodium um, um, ions gauge open, and then a lot of sodium, um, positively charged sodium ion rushing inside the, 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 the axon, and then uh, polarized uh, depolarization happen, and then they will further trigger um, the action terminals of another new one for fire and then for releasing new transmitter um, for another new ones to receive. Okay, so uh, you heard my say a lot of voltage difference because you know um, uh, we are all talking about polarization, we are all talking about um, inside the new ones, they fail for a negative because a lot of negative ions inside and all positive ions outside. But one actual potential happened. The voltage no longer negative. Okay, so that's why you will see this page. Okay, um, so this is point number one. Number number one means without anything happening. Okay, so this is called polarization because inside the membrane, inside the axon, is very very negative. Okay, so minus seventy. Okay, so once the new ones get triggered um, because of whatever reason, and then the voltage starts start to increase. Okay, because the gauge of um, the sodium open and then the ions keep coming in um, when you reach the threshold okay and then so that will track the, 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 the voltage from negative to very very positive okay so that's why the second stage because sodium negative positive sodium ion rushing in okay so after work after for example after the period for extra potential okay you know um, for whatever stimulus they will they, they will pass they will, they will finish Okay, so after the problem, after the stress gone, and then there will be the third stage, the third, the third stage we call repolarization, okay, or we call simply call polarization. And then a lot of potassium ions outside rushing out, okay, so you see this is all, this is still positive ions. So when positive ions rushing out, then the voltage no longer very positive, right? there's a go downward, okay. And then normally the, the voltage will not finish right here, like um like original stage. They will get hyperpolarization. Hyperpolarization too means too much. Um the the positive potassium ion rushing out, uh, rushing out, rushing out, and then make the voltage too negative. Okay, so when the voltage too negative, they spend a, a, a bit of time and then um getting balanced. Okay, so that will go back. To a resting stage, but in stage means the voltage um, go back arrive um, somewhere here, negative 70, and then there would be another resting stage, resting state, and then um, the new world will start to wait for another things to happen, another trick to happen, and then they will still fire the new ones, and then there will be uh, another cycle of action potential. Okay, so you can think of um, everything, for example. Um, right now you are listening to, to, to my teaching and then you feel very, very interesting. So actually uh, your brain uh, consists a lot of brain reaction like this. Okay, so it's all about neural communication process. And then you will probably experience a lot of cycle of action potential for, for example, like 10 minutes of time. Okay, so this is what you have to do, have to understand about action potential for today and, and resting potential. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.